There are tons of videos about this watch already on YouTube, but after owning it for about half a year, I decided to make a long-term review and tell you about my experience with the Steel Dive Willard homage. And as you can see, mine is green, the green version. The case of the watch is 44 millimeters from side to side, and although it may appear chunky and big, it's only 46 uh, from lug to lug. So it sits on the wrist pretty comfortably and I really like uh, how it feels on the wrist. The crown is located at uh, 4 o'clock and uh, the case also serves as a crown guard. Which is lo looking cool but to be honest when you try to unscrew the crown and to work the crown it is pretty awkward and, un and uncomfortable. As this one is not the sterile version, the crown has the Steel Dive logo lasered onto it. And the lasering on the crown and on the case back is pretty sharp, so every time you pass your finger over it, you can feel the edges. And the worst part about it is that those sharp edges catch your finger finger dirt pieces of your skin and stuff so you will see the logo getting dirty but it's nothing that um, a bit of toothbrush action can't resolve uh, coming back to the front of the watch you can see that the, obviously the, the bezel is sticking out from the lines of the case and as I said the uh, case is 44 but the bezel itself is around 41 and the bezel being 41 also makes the watch uh, very wearable and doesn't make it look too big on the wrist on this green version the bezel made is made out of green ceramic and all the white markings on the bezel are loomed uh, the dial on the green version is uh, a green sunburst dial I'll show it to you later on the, in the sun but in certain lighting you can't even tell that it's sunburst only when the direct light hits it the hour um, markers are applied and as you can see the date is also uh, framed the hands are flat they do not have any geometrical shape to them unlike the San Martin uh, Willard and the second hand is this I guess shovel style that's what I heard people call it and it's it has the red dot and the white dot so the white one the white dot is loomed and the red dot is not also on the dial you have the steel dive logo the steel dive text right underneath it and Above 6 o'clock you have automatic and water 200 meter resist and the 200 meter is in red obviously matching with the second hand which gives it a pretty cool look. The movement inside the watch is a Seiko NH35 automatic movement which, is, which has a date as you can see and let me unscrew the crown. See, only, you only have a place to catch it uh, between the between the crown guards, so you have to. It's, it, I mean, it's not that comfortable. So you screw it out in the first position. You can wind the watch. Second position allows you to adjust the date, and the third position hacks the movement and allows you to adjust the time the crystal on the watch is a sapphire crystal which uh, protrudes slightly from the bezel and also it has a lot of uh, blue anti-reflective coating on the bottom as for the case back if you look at it from the side you see that it sticks out quite a bit but in general it's pretty comfortable to wear and let's take a look a closer look at the case back you see 
there is a lasered uh, steel dive logo as well and mine because it's used you see the gray parts on the case back got scratched with time and on the case back it also says automatic movement and h35 dive 200 meters by steel dive all stainless steel now let's talk a bit about the bracelet and the clasp the clasp on the bottom here is the one that comes with the watch it is stamped and it's absolute garbage and I absolutely hated it and for only extra eight dollars on Aliexpress you can get this milled clasp and I don't understand why steel dive doesn't do it themselves and just send you the watch with it but you have to buy it extra obviously not from steel dive and install it and uh, it makes the watch much much, com much more comfortable and much better the bracelet itself has solid end links which are pretty nicely fitted to the case if it will focus yeah the end links have these articulate uh, pieces which also make the watch pretty small on the wrist doesn't stick out the links are solid they are polished on the sides brushed on the broad side and they are held together with push pins both the clasp that comes with the watch and the replacement have three adjustment holes the loom on the watch is absolutely awesome but the thing that bothers me up to this day even after half a year of using it is the fact that the dial and the hands loom is green which is a C3 loom and the bezel is has blue loom which is BGW9 so basically they source their dials and their bezels from different suppliers I guess and if they could match them wouldn't be the same color I think that would take uh, the watch much higher but that's what you get and uh, both are glowing pretty strong let me close the light completely and you will see that it glows very very brightly and it glows for long the loom is definitely strong on this watch This is how it's gonna look outside on the sun. You see the sunburst is very visible in direct light. So basically, if you are thinking about buying this watch and you have not tried it yet, I will strongly recommend you to buy it, especially at the price it is now. I bought it half a year ago for a hundred and thirteen dollars today on aliexpress you can buy it for 90 without any sales just as a standard price and while you're at it order yourself the replacement clasp as well and if you're feeling a bit adventurous i would recommend you to go for the green version or even the blue version i bought the green one because all my watches up until that point had uh, a black dial and a black bezel so the green one was a nice uh, nice change to the collection